knows how to bring people together, which he's done in the past, working with our allies in a multilateral way. Uh, and then when it's time to act, the president then knows what he needs to do. And I think that once he does that, he will get this, have the support of Congress. Now, in terms of putting together a coalition, is there any indication that we would have support from other partners on this? Yeah, I think that you hear uh, conversations. I know from our allies in Turkey and from our allies in NATO, you know, like we heard from France and London. So I think that, you know, if we move forward, uh, it will be in consultation with them. The biggest obstacle and the reason why I think that we have not moved or done anything through the UN internationally has been the opposition of Russia and China. From my viewpoint, um, it is my hope that with the UN inspectors, if they come back and say that the evidence is contaminated because of the delay that the Syrian government had made, or if they come in and say definitively that it was utilized, that that would then compel Russia uh, and China to move from the position that they, that, that they have had. Because right now, Russia claims it was the, was the rebels, and, and so we have that conflict which stops us from being collectively as a, as a, as a united, as an international community. So it's my hope that one way or the other, if the inspectors come back and say, well, it's been contaminated, then the evidence clearly shows that, in fact, uh, the Syrians delayed the attack, delayed the uh, inspectors from coming in so that the evidence could be contaminated. If they can come to a conclusion uh, one way or the other, then hopefully that will bring us all together, as we did with Libya, uh, and then we can act as a united uh, international community. Now, last year, the president, of course,